okay so now let's go to the trouble ticket for same question buddy okay same question same answers so now let's go back to our uh, layer 3 topology uh, I would like to start from uh, 3 let me try the client oh good there is no switch problem probably routing problems let me go to the server you can't ping the server from here you can't ping can you ping from R4 R4 can you ping the server you can't ping from R4 even the server uh, how about in from DLS you know uh, access switch 1 uh, um, ping uh, the address is 209.65.200.241 I can't ping, but can I ping my local interfaces? Okay, 172.16.13. I can't even ping my local interface. Hmm, that's very sad. I can't ping, you know, but my, you know, uh, 14. So something not right here. Let me look at the R4, R4 buddies. Let me see the interfaces. 172.16.14. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, sorry, 1.14. I can ping that and 13 mm, what's wrong here oh, I, ah, you know what I'm making typo errors typo errors 1.14 see you can really mislead when you started you know do a wrong thing now I need to start all over again see where my real problem is 65.200.241 okay I can't ping how about an R4 I can't ping so I can't ping from even R4 okay how about from R3 can ping from even R3 set let me go up one more level see I can use the arrow key can even ping from R4 let me go to R1 what's wrong here Hmm. Even R1 I can't ping. Why? What am I doing here now? Layer like 3 topology. So R1. I can't ping from R1 uh, to my web server. Can I ping my nearest interface? In this case, would be ping uh, 209.65.200.221. Uh, uh, not 224, 225 local interface. The next up address, fine. Just that I'm not able to ping the uh, uh, now, uh, uh, few hubs away where my web server located on the cloud. So, something wrong with my static route, I believe. Because that is the only route we have. Let me look at my routes from R1 static route. Okay, 000. zero, zero is pointing to 226 got to be correct zero 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 hey no 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 look at zero zero interface the external is you see if you look at if you remember this let me pick up the layer two interface so then you will see this issue very clearly here okay look at what interface is connecting here r1 s00 connecting to r2 this is a different interface so zero zero mean you are pointing to your internal clock look at this the 000 interface is pointing to the internal cloud, not external. So that is what wrong here. Okay, I think we nailed the problem already. Let me go back to the uh, uh, problem here. So I think the problem is in R1 very clearly. Next question. Is related to static route? Yes. Next question. So how do I fix this? It cannot be 000. It's got to be something else. So in the global config, delete IP route 000 in point there to zero uh, zero one probably you see the diagram doesn't show the interface but that seemed to be the most probable answer there okay I'm going to choose that and let me see done three out of three we have done all these four uh, tickets good so what we have learned here so we finished the four tickets same questions same answers uh, but Situation scenario the falls on a different different places based on what trouble ticket you are working So if we try again the tickets moves from different places So that is the, the you know the beauty in the t-shirt classes 
where if you are memorizing, you are out of luck. You got to know the concepts. Nobody can help you. Uh, if you're trying to memorize the answers, hey, buddy, the answers are all you know same. Uh, even the questions are the same. So in fact, this is really defeating the uh, the entire you know the exam crap concepts. Uh, you have to study now. You got to practice. You got to think. You got to analyze. Um, so my my recommendation here is. Um, you know, as I stated before in my other uh, introductions, um, you know, uh, to pass the CNPT shoot, attend the five-day training class, uh, authorized class, uh, where we go through in a detail uh, every aspect, uh, many of different troubleshooting commands. There's a lot of labs. 90% of the time you're going to spend in the lab uh, practicing uh, different situations, different scenarios, different fault. You will understand deeper in the methodologies. Uh, the t -shirt, you know, troubleshooting methodologies uh, and then I would recommend to review the lessons uh, you know take a week or two weeks to review the lessons after you're attending the class and practice uh, hands-on uh, labs uh, uh, we also are giving you know free three hours lab uh, for anybody to access uh, uh, requests you know through our web website imsasia.com and uh, you know uh, practice a lot more hands-on practice a lot more hands-on that's the only thing I can give you guys to pass the CCNP. CCNP no more is easy, as easy as it used to be uh, it is a different uh, uh, class itself uh, very practical very you know uh, useful uh, to improve uh, your job um, and naturally to improve your career and definitely you build a very good troubleshooting skill by uh, going for the class by practicing hands-on labs and achieving the certifications thank you good day